Good morning. Uh, maganda nga palang magiging topic natin ngayong araw. Uh, kami ang group 1 na ang... Ah, na ang mga miyembro ay si ako, si Samuel Antonero, um, si Martin, si Dries, si Jan Redrogas, at si Chantel Mendoza. At... Uh, Ang ating tatalakayin ay tungkol sa causes of earthquakes and faulting featuring uh, tectonic plates. Okay. Good morning sir, good morning classmates. So ang tatalakayin ko po is the introduction at saka uh, kung ano ang earthquake. So introduction, one of the most frightening and destructive phenomena of nature is a severe earthquake and its terrible after effects. An earthquake is a sudden movement of earth caused by the ab abrupt release of strain that has accumulated over a long time. For hundreds of millions of years, the forces of plate tectonics have shaped the earth as the huge plates that form the Earth's surface slowly move over, under, and pass each year. Sometimes the movement is gradual. At other times, the plates are locked together, unable to release the accumulating energy. And when accum accumulated energy grows strong enough, the plates break free. So if the earthquake occurs in the populated area, it may cause many deaths, and injury, injuries and uh, expensive property damage. Next spot. Today, we are challenging the assumption that earthquakes must present an uncontrollable and unpredictable hazards to life and property. Scientists have begun to estimate the locations and likelihoods of future damaging earthquakes. Sites of greatness hazards are being identified and definite progress is being made in designing structures that will that will withstand the effects of earth. Next point. So what is earthquake? An earthquake is what happens when two blocks of the earth suddenly slip past one another. The surface where they slip is called the fault or fault plane. The location below is the location below the earth's surface where the earthquake starts are called the hypocenter. And the location directly above is on the surface on, of the earth is called the epicenter. Sometimes an earthquake has four shocks. So alam naman natin na ang Force shocks is yung nauunang mga paggalaw sa lupa. Or this is, these are the smaller earthquakes that happened in the same place as the large earthquakes that follows. So, hindi siya kaya i-predict ng mga scientists kung alin dun ang force shock until, until maganap yung pinakamalakas na pag-shake sa lupa. So, next po. So, after po nung malakas na pagyanig sa lupa is yung pong large or yung main earthquake na sinasabi natin na main, uh, main shock. So, uh, main shocks always have aftershocks that follow. These are the small smaller earthquakes that occur afterwards in the same place as the, as the main shock. Depending on the size of the main shock, Aftershock can continue for weeks or months and even years after the main shock. After, earth, after earthquake is the result of sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust and creates seismic waves. Seismic waves. The seismic waves activity of the Earth refers to the frequency type and size of earthquakes experienced over the period of time. For example, po, 
gusto makikita natin dito sa picture na kapag ka nagbato tayo ng ng bato sa tubig is makikita natin na nagkakaroon siya ng parang vibration sa tubig or makikita natin yung maliliit na waves so um ito yung example na nangyayari kapag yung kunwari ito yung yung gitna natin is ito yung ating uh, main shaft or yung pinakagitna ng lindol and yung mga waves niya is ito na yung tinatawag natin na mga parang intensity or yung pahina na, na paggalaw sa lupa. So next po. How are earthquakes recorded? Earthquakes are recorded by instruments called seismograph. The recording they make is called seismogram. The seismograph has a base that sets firmly in the ground and a heavy weight that hangs free. So when the earthquake causes the ground to shake, the base of the seismograph shakes too, but the hanging weight does, does not shake. So instead, the spring of the string that is hanging from absorbs all the movement. The difference in position between the shaking part of the seismograph and the motionless part is what is recorded. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Ang sunod naman po ay history and beliefs of plate tectonics. Next po. Hist historical perspective of plate tectonics. In geologic terms, a plate is a large, rigid slab of solid rock. The word tectonics comes from the Greek root. Ay, hindi ko na nailagay. Tecton. Tecton yung Greek root ng tectonics, which means to build or builders. So, pag pinagsama, edi magkakamap sa plate tectonics, meaning earth surface natin is built of plates. Next book. The theory of plate tectonics states that the Earth's outermost layer is fragmented, meaning nag shatter into dozen and more pieces yung super contents na pinatawag natin. Tapos yung mga dozen pieces na yun ay nagka-classify depending on the size Tapos, yung mga sizes na yun, kumbaga, nadi-defer siya. Ah, nakaklassify din as yung mga tinatawag natin, major, minor, and the micro plates natin. Next po. Before the advent of plate tectonics, however, some people already believed that the present-day continents. So, ayun. Naliniwala ang mga tao because of the proofs and theories na napatunayan ng mga scientists. Siyempre, yung mga nagsusupport na sa mga details ng theories and then sa mga nagde-develop din sa mga beliefs. Next po. The diagrams on the next slide show the breakup of supercontinent Pangea, Pangea, meaning all lands. Hindi naman bago sa ating pandinig ang Pangea. Di ba? Siguro high school pa lang or ah, high school pa lang na na-encounter na natin siya. So, next slide po. Dito sa next slide, makikita natin yung sa bawat periods of time makikita natin yung changes ng nung ano nung <clears throat> nung supercontinent na tinatawag natin which is yung Pangea 250 million years ago yung Permian Triassic 200 million years Jurassic 145 million years Cretaceous 65 million years and until now yung present day yan kita niyo naman nag-scatter na Kumbaga, nag-scatter na ito fragmented pieces. Next pa.
Plate tectonics is a relatively new scientific concept introduced some 30 years ago, but it has revolutionized our understanding of the dynamic plate upon which we live. Kumbaga, para sa mga scientists. Siyempre, nag-aaral na sila lagi. We study and observe what we live in. Yun ang ano nila, principle. Kumbaga, observant sila and talagang kikilatisin nila kung kung saan tayo natit- naninirahan. The theory has unified the study of, of the earth by drawing together many branches of the earth sciences. From paleontology, paleontology the study of fuels, to seismology. Kung baga, nag-joint force na yung iba't ibang earth sciences dahil sa mga observation and discoveries na something to do with the causes of faulting. Yun nga, yung seismology. Yung kung kung paano nagkaka-fault in something. Yan. Next po. Why is the earth so restless? What causes the ground to shake violently? Volcanoes to erupt with explosive force? And great mountain ranges to rise to incredible heights? So, those were the questions that were wrestled by, by our scientists, philosophers, and theologians. Yan yung inisip nila for centuries na yan yan, yung sinabi ko kanina. Kumbaga, para sa mga nag-aaral, mga scientists, philosophers, and theologians, I we study what we live in. Next po. So, yun. Until the 1700s, most Europeans thought that the biblical flood played a major role in shaping the Earth's surface. <clears throat> Since yung, ano, yung Europeans ay before, syempre, kilala natin ang mga Europeans na may pagka-holy and may pagka-Bible-based sila. Europeans ay nagbe-base sa Bible. So, yung flood, yung flood na tinutukoy dito sa biblical flood is yung, hindi ako nagkakamali yung Noah's flood. Yung dinivide niya yata, yun yata yun. This way of thinking was known as catastrophism and geology, the study of the earth, was based on the belief that all earthly challenges were stood in and caused by a series of catastrophes. Yung catastrophism, yung, yun yung theory na nagbabago sa ano, earth's crust during geological history. Tapos yun, from the word itself, catastrophe, yun yung yung mga hindi inaasahan nating mga mga events like earthquake yung mga ano mga sudden phenomena yeah however by the mid 19th century catastrophism gave way to uniformitarianism a new way of thinking centered around uniformitarian principle proposed in 1785 by James Hutton as a, a Scottish geologist. So, yun, yung uniformitarianism, yun yung, ano, parehas naman siyang theory that changes, ano, that changes the Earth's crust during geological history. Kaya lang, kaibahan nito ay, ano, ito ay resulted from the action of continuous and uniform process. Yan. Next slide po. The last slide, this principle is commonly stated as follows. Ito yung, ano, yung uniformitarian, uh, uniformitarian principle. The present is the key to the past. Simple lang. Simple lang siya, pero ano, sobrang powerful ng meaning. Yung mga process today na nag-operate throughout most of the Earth's history.
Akin lang po. Salamat. Ngayon naman po ay ang beliefs of how tectonic plates were discovered. Ang sabi nga po dito, ang beliefs daw that continent are moving ay hindi naman talaga nagsimula in year 2000 but since the 15th century which is recommended by Abraham Otelius in his work. So itong si Abraham ay isang Dutch map maker. At ano nga ba yung tinutukoy na work nito? Yun ay walang iba kundi ang book na ginawa niya na ang pamagat ay Thesaurus Geographicus. At ito daw ang tinatawag na New Body of Geography or Complete Description of the Earth. Next po. Yun. Sabi din dito, Abraham advocated that America came from the Europe and Africa. E di mapapaisip tayo kung paano nangyari yun. Kumbaga, ang Amerika daw ay dating bahagi o parte ng Europe and Africa. Pero na-remove ito, kasi nakalagay po dyan, turn away. Na-remove ito o napahiwalay dahil sa mga nangyayaring pagbaha at paglindol. The vestiges of the rupture reveal themselves. So yung vestige, ito yung trace ng isang bagay na nawawala. Nawawala na o di na talaga nag exist Sabi pa niya, if someone brings forward the map of the world and considers carefully the cause of the tree, so parang pinaparating niya na kung titingnan mo ng maigi ang mga edges ng Amerika, Europe, and Africa, eh pwede mo itong mabuo. Yun. Next. This. The Dutch makers do this surface again. So yung idea daw ni Abraham eh parang bumabalik o kumbaga eh napapaniwalaan ulit. Noong 19th century, but not until 1912. Ito ay dahil nagsimula ng may consider bilang real scientific o full-blown theory. Which is yun nga, konting ano lang sa continental drift theory. Ang continental drift theory ay isang hypothesis that Earth's continents have moved over geologic time related to each other, thus appearing to have drifted across the ocean bed. So, thank you. Ilang. Why do earthquakes happen? Earthquakes are usually caused when underground rocks suddenly break and there is rapid, rapid motion along a fault. This sudden release this sudden release of energy causes the seismic waves that make the ground shake. So yung mga bato na binubuo sa earth crust are full of fractures. Some of these fractures ay tinatawag na faults kung saan yung mga rocks is nag-slip past each other dahilan para mag-re-arrange or mag-deform over time yung crust in the process known as tectonic or Due to, due to tectonic forces. So kapag nag-receive past each other na yung mga bato, siyempre gagalaw din mag -re ng stress all at once and magkakaroon ng shock wave sa palibot. Then magkakaroon ng shaking or pagyanig at ito na yung tinatawag na earthquake. During and after the earthquake, the place or blocks of rocks start moving and they continue to move until they get stuck again. The spot on the ground where the rock first breaks is called the focus or hypocenter of the earthquake. The place right above the focus at the ground surface is called the epicenter of the earthquake. So yung focus or hypocenter na tumatawag is the point kung saan mag, nag-fracture yung mga rock. Ito yung origin ng earthquake. Tapos yung epicenter naman is the point sa land or sa earth surface directly above the focus. Next spot. An earthquake occurs because of the movement of tectonic plates beneath the surface of the earth. These movements create waves that propagate through the earth. These waves are known as seismic waves. It causes mild to heavy shaking and vibration. So yeah, the tectonic plates that make up the earth's crust are nagmumove constantly. Kapag nag-slide passing ang mga ito, 
sa four zones, this leads to build up pressure and create waves in the form of seismic waves. Next po. Main causes of earthquake. Next po. The first is volcanic eruption. The main process of the earthquake is volcanic eruption. Such type of earthquake occurs in areas with frequent volcanic activity. When boiling is evaporized to break through the surface of the earth, with the increased pressure of grasses, certain movements cause in the earth's crust. So, so ang earthquakes and volcanoes nag occur sila due to movements ng tectonic plates. Kapag may volcanic eruption, nagpo-produce siya ng vibrations galing sa movement ng magma or yung sa ibang fluid ng volcano. So, yung pressure doon is tumataas tapos nag-create ng small earthquake. Next up. Second is tectonic movement. The surface of the earth consists of some plates comp comprising of the upper mantle. These plates are always moving, thus affecting the earth's crust. So, so the tectonic plates are always slowly moving, pero nag-stuck sila at their edges due to friction. Pa kapag nag-overcome ng stress in friction, there is an earthquake na mag-release ng waves na papunta sa earth's crust, tapos mararamdaman yung shaking. Next po. This movement categorized into three types. The first is constructive, is when they please move away from each other, then correspond to mild earthquake. Sa so constructive, yung place ay magmumove apart from another, tapos yung magma from the mantle is tataas to make or to construct new land in the form of shield volcano. The next one is destructive. Destructive is when two plates move towards each other and collide. This is known as destructive plate boundaries. So destructive naman usually oceanic and continental plates dito. Nagko-collide nag sila, they move towards each other. At dahil mas denser yung oceanic plate kasi sa continental, continental plate, siya yung magpo-force beneath the continental plate. Yun yung tinatawag ng subduction. Next po. Then, conservative corresponds to passing by, by of plates of stress. Earthquakes of this type have varying intensities. Dito naman sa conservative, yung place dito is nag-move past each other or side by side na gumagalaw at different things. Next up. Next up. Geological fault is known as the displacement of plates of their original plane. The plane can be horizontal or vertical. These plates are not formed suddenly but slowly develop over the movement of rocks. Along these planes brings about a sonic ear. So, earthquake are usually caused when suddenly break and there is a rapid motion along a fault. So, pag may struck slip earthquake, nag-o-occur siya ng strike slip fault. So, pag naman normal earthquake, nag-o-occur siya ng normal fault. So, pag may truss earthquake, nag-o-occur siya ng truss or reverse fault. Next po. Next is man-made. Nuclear bombing can send specific type of shock waves throughout the surface of the Earth, which can disturb the natural alignment of tectonic plates. Next is man-made. Earthquake can be human-made human and natural, although the latter is more abundant. The interference of man with nature, like disturbance of crustal mass, 
due to heavy flooding of water in dams. Yan yung pwede mo din pa sa escape. Minor causes. Sa minor causes such as landslides, avalanches, the collapse of heavy rocks, etc. can also cause minor shockage. The plutonic earthquake occurs because of the adjustments in rock beds in the interior of the Earth's crust. Dito, yung gases beneath the Earth's surface is nagko-contract or nage-expand giving this to movement in place beneath the crust. So, yung mga factors na yan, nagko-correspond siya to minor earthquake, pero minsan it may vary to, it may vary to moderate earthquake. Faults are blocks of earth crust that stick together. Fault lines are under enormous pressure from the two pieces of the earth crust pushing, and pushing together. The faults will eventually give way to the pressure causing earthquakes and creating mountain ranges. So, fault is a structure of zone of zone is a structure of or zone of fractures between blocks of rocks. Inaalaw nito ang blocks to move relative to each other. Kapag yung, move, yung movement is nag-offer rapidly, mag-offer siya ng earthquake. Kapag naman nag-offer siya slowly, mag-offer siya ng quake. Next po. Types of faults. First one is normal fault. The block above inclined fault moves down relative to the block below the fault. This fault motion is caused by extensional forces and usual in extension. So, normal fault or deep slip, yung faults niya are inclined structures kung saan yung plate or yung block have mostly shifted vertically. Next fault. The next one is trust fault. The block above the, the inclined fault moves up relative to the block below the fault. This fault motion is caused by compressional forces and results in shortening. So, ang reverse or chest fault naman is opposite sa normal fault, in which the hanging wall appears to have been pushed, pushed up along the foot wall. Next up. And last is strike slip fault. Movement of blocks along a fault is horizontal and the fault plane is nearly vertical. The block on the far side of the fault moves to the left the fault is called left lateral. If the mo if it moves to the right, the fault is called right lateral. The fault motion of its strike slip fault is caused by shooting stress. Ang strike strike slip fault naman is vertical structure where the block move mostly move horizontally. Kung ang slip style nga is pakanan, ang tawag din is right lateral, is pakaliwa naman left lateral. Next thought. What causes faults? Faults are generally caused under the influence of stresses acting upon the rock of the crust of the earth to move it. Any rock on or below the crust may withstand all, all the operating stresses up to alien, which depends upon its cohesive strength and, and internal system. But when the, that limit is crossed by the operating stresses, the rock yields by fracturing or breaking along certain direction. So, ang sentinel stress is our next stop. Sentinel stress is when slabs of rock are pulled apart. Imagine stretching a rope out of out all the way and then continuing to pull on it from both ends. We're putting tension on the rope because it's being pulled in opposite direction. The same is true for tensional stress in rock. So, on tensional stress is the stress that tends to pull something apart. It is the it is the stress component perpendicular to a given surface such as fault plane. Next one. Compressional stress. If when slabs of rock are pushed together, they are literally being compressed into one another. This is like when two parts crush into each other. They compress into smaller, shuffled versions of what 
they were before. So, compression of chest, so we stop pushing, pushing into each other and the get the eight ng reverse fall. So, common siya sa mga, ay, common siya sa convergent boundary. Next quote. And the fear stress is when slabs of rock slide past, past each other. Horizontally in opposite direction. The rocks are not smashed in, into each other or pulled apart, but their edges slide along each other with a lot of friction. This is like when you rub your hands together to warm them up. One hand goes forward and the other goes backward, rubbing against each other. Can you have tensional stress? Perpendicular, dito naman sa safe stress, para naman to, to a given surface. Low, low, low. Rinig po. It's, um, um, the plate tectonics. Um, ito yung mga, uh, nilalaman ng mga plate tectonics. Nahati siya sa dalawang part, um, isang major and minor. Makapapansin nyo naman siya sa major and minor, ang pinagkaiba naman. Pagka um, nasasabi natin major, uh, as in malaki, ang um, nasasakot niyang area than the minor one. At ang ating eight major plates sa ating world map ay ang Pacific plates, South American plates, uh, African plates, North American plates, Indian plates, Antarctic plates, Eurasian plates, uh, Australian plates, and the seven major. And the other one, um, the seven minor plates naman. Uh, ito yung mga considered na malilit na sakop ng area sa ating world map na plates. The first one is the Juan de Fuca, Cocos, uh, Scotia, Caribbean, Philippines, Nazca and Arabian. Uh, ito siya sa ating picture. Ito yung mga sakop niyang plate. Kaya siya minor, uh, malit nga yung area na sakop niyang plate. While the major one, na uh, alakay ng sakop niyang plate sa world map. At ito naman yung litrato ng world map natin. with its country. Uh, papansin nyo yung North, Ant North Atlantic ay, wait lang. North Atlantic Ocean na uh, bandang Caribbean Plate ang sakop niya yung North ay, hindi ko na. Ba sakop niya yung North American Plate. Halos. Then, the South American Plate naman at as in dito sa may South Atlantic Ocean banda. Yun lang. Then, meron nga pala akong video na related sa aming topic na may na ipapanood ko sa inyo this morning. low-low. Pansin nyo yung mga move, movements ng mga plates at from the original na Panjaya hanggang sa magkaroon ng iba't ibang plates, ng mga major plates, minor plates sa ating world map. Ayun, pansin nyo yun. Pero hindi sa ganun, in a fun way naman. Then, next is, uh, ayun, magkaroon tayo ng quiz, may price to. Ang mag-organize nito ay si John Red na ating pinakagwapong kaklase. <laughs> Ayun. 
tulog na nga ata. Wait lang, wait lang, nagbumukas pa ang PC. <laughs> Tray kayo daw po per question. Care of ano, Samuel. Pero bago daw makalim yung price, mag-uuwo muna. Malaki daw po ang papremyo niya, no? Ni Samuel. Saan nagigising pa po ang iba? <laughs> Sayang din, pang ano, pang Sam Gip. Seventeen pa lang yung nag-join. Wala na po bang jo-join? Seventeen lang. Start na. Start na ba? Siguro pa. Tulog ata. Tulog ata iba. Tulog na. Tulog na. Tulog. Sayang ang prices. Game na, game na.
So far po ang ating best player ay si Jess. Grabe yun.
Okay, so bigyan naman natin ng virtual applause ang ating mga reporters. Alright. So, ano naman? Okay naman yung report nila. Maganda naman yung presentation, yung distribution ng topics. And then, uh, ayun, may plenasure naman silang video. Medyo na ano lang ako sa mga ano. Di ba may mga types kayo na? Yung mga illustration lang. Nagdagdag lang siguro. Pero anyway, okay naman. So far, so good. You set the bar high as the first reporter. Taka lang ha. Stop recording ko lang.